April 8, 2024 may seem like a long way away, but for those of you planning to view the upcoming total solar eclipse, local leaders want Western New York to stand out. Well, Buffalo and the surrounding area will be in what's known as the path of totality, where the sun is completely blocked out and where people looking to watch the phenomena tend to go the most. Well, Channel 2's Rob Hackford was at the kickoff event this afternoon. So, Rob, there's a lot going into this. Yeah, Scott Mary Ellis, a year's worth of planning at this point. It's a narrow band where people flock to during the solar eclipse. Nashville was in it back in 2017. They had a whole drove of people that came there. And now next year, Buffalo is in smack in the middle of it. And eclipses are big draws for tourism and usually once in a lifetime events. The last time Buffalo actually experienced one was in 19. 25. I wasn't around a long time ago. That's why visit Buffalo, Niagara, Erie County and the Buffalo Museum of Science are getting started early to try and make sure people can make the most of this. There's already an exhibit set up at the museum. Erie County is buying a bunch of goggles needed to view the eclipse as well to hand out. A guide is being made to show where the best places to watch will be, and they're planning around things like traffic for what could be a couple hundred thousand visitors. That's based on what other total solar eclipses have drawn. And so what opportunities that the parks can organize. Also, uh, Salem Field might be a good, good opportunity. I've been in conversations with their management. Maybe that could be opening day of baseball. Uh, if not, again, it's a place where people can go and sit. There are restroom facilities as well as food venues. And so those are the types of things. We've been talking to several of the breweries as well, you know, creating a special beer for the Buffalo Eclipse as well as having some events. Now, none of these things are set in stone right now, but visit Buffalo Niagara and Patrick Kaler, who you just heard from. They're building a place on their website to keep track of everything, and they want people to mark their calendars for April 8th, 2024 at 3.05 p.m. The full eclipse will last just under four minutes. And Scott Mary Ellis, the one thing you can't plan a year in advance, unfortunately, is the weather. Mm. So fingers crossed for a sunny day. Although even if it is cloudy, we heard today the eclipse will turn out the lights regardless. So Western New York can still experience that part of the eclipse.